it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button because you'll find new DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration here every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And thank you so, so much to the original Super Glue for sponsoring today's video. Now, I don't know about you, but I love going to the thrift store. I can find some of the most unique, cool items. And I may not have the exact look that I'm going for, but I know with just a little bit of love and a little bit of my own special touches that I can really bring them back to life and make them work for my home decor. Now in today's video, I have three different thrift store flips for you and each item only cost me $2 each. So I'm excited to share with you this budget DIY tutorial today. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's a look at the three items that I grabbed from the thrift store. I got really great prices on them. The first one is an old calendar. It's a wood board with a nice tile on the top, but it's on the last month of papers that it had. So they just basically got rid of it. This was only $2. I found a great nesting box. I love this because it already has a faux wood top on it and I love working with wood. So this already kind of had the look. It just needs a little updating. So this was $2 as well. And then this is a planter, sort of crate style, and it has some uh, metal containers on the inside. This was $2 as well. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with the hat box and work on that first. So for the hat box or the nesting box, whichever one you want to call it, I'm just going to paint the bottom white. I love the look of furniture that has the wood top and then the painted white bottom. So I'm going to leave the lid as is and then I have a handle. I get these from Lowe's. They are less than $2. They have this real primitive um, antique type look and they're so affordable too. So I'm going to attach the handle to the top of the lid and just paint out the bottom and it will have a whole brand new look. I'm going to be using my Super Unix Super Glue to initially attach the handle to the top of the lid. You can see I'm just adding a few drops to the bottom of the handle before placing it onto the lid, and it only takes about 10 seconds to bond. This is super amazing, extreme adhesive, and you can use it on all kinds of different materials, including foam and paper like you see here. Next, I use some super pointy scissors and poked some holes through the top of the lid and added the included screws that came with the handle. Our Super Unix will do a great job of holding the handle in place, but the screws will definitely give it a more finished look. I used my white chalk paint and a foam paintbrush and applied three coats of paint to the bottom of the hat box. It did take that many coats to cover up the dark colors of the box, but once it had dried and I added the lid back to the top, it was such a huge transformation. It would be so pretty to add some ribbon to this or even a decal to the front so you can get so creative when it comes to how you design your own. And now I'm gonna move on to work with the crate. I thought it'd be cute to turn this more into sort of like a shelf or display unit instead of a planter or a container. So I want to take out these metal inserts and flip it up on its side. And then I thought it'd be cute to give it some feet to make it more look like a unit that was supposed to be flipped up on its side. So what I'm gonna use are these, they're called ball knobs, 3 16 inch size hole. They are one inch size and it says they're 16 in the pack. They were $3.99 from Hobby Lobby. And what I wanna do is try and get the same-ish color as the crate um, painted onto these balls so it all looks like 
the same thing and it all was made to match. So I have elephant and silver lining chalk paint and then I have my traditional burnt umber acrylic paint because this has a little bit of brown tone to it. So I'm gonna use all three of those paints and sort of do a layering effect to try to make it match the crate. I just worked with the different paints, adding different layers and sort of wiping some of them off to let some of the underside show through until I was happy with the colors that I ended up with and then let those dry completely before I moved on to the next step. Again, I'm going to be using my Super Unix Super Glue to attach the feet to the bottom of this crate. The great thing about this product is that you can find this at Hobby Lobby as well, which is where I got the little feet from. So it's so convenient to just grab some as you're already at the store shopping. And now on to this calendar, which I'm gonna turn into more of like a memo or note board. I love, love, love the wood. I don't wanna paint it. I do wanna update this tile though. So the first thing I'm gonna do is tape this off and paint it white. I'm gonna let that dry and then I created a uh, decal that I'm gonna to add to the front of this, kinda of update it a little bit. And then I'm gonna cut down some regular computer paper down to this size, so I really like this size. I'm gonna use my paper trimmer to do that. Punch some holes with the hole puncher into the corners so they'll slide right onto those pegs. And then I'll set a little pencil or a pen on the top, that way it's handy and I can make notes whenever I need to.
I think all three of these projects really turned out great. I'm excited to use my new notepad holder, but let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite thrift store flip? Have you found things on the side of the curb that maybe you flipped, were given? Did you search your basement and maybe bring something back to life that you've had in storage? I'd love to hear about it. If you haven't yet, please click that subscribe button next to me. You'll find more great DIYs in the link below that that you'll want to check out. And you can find me on Facebook and on Instagram for even more inspiration. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.